This week's programme deals with addiction. Roger Duncan has fought a lifelong battle with heroin and now puts his experiences to use, helping others at the Swansea Drugs Project. But first, meet Mike McNamara, lead singer with Big Mac's Holy Soul Band. In a checkered career, he's fought a long battle with drink and drugs. And the music we're hearing is his contribution to Kaleidoscope, a drug rehabilitation project based in Newport. Let's talk a little about yourself uh, and your background, upbringing. Where were you born and brought up? Uh, I was born in Northern Ireland. Um, and I came over here on my, to Newport on my eighth birthday. Um, went to live in, uh, in Pill, in the dock. dock area, you you came over with your parents? Yeah, I came over with my yeah. family, yeah, my sisters, I've got four sisters. And uh, went to school in, in Pill for a couple of months and then we moved over to, to Corporation Road. And then we moved up to Killian Road and lived there until I, until I joined the Army. When was that, straight from school at 16? No, I, was, I joined the Army when I was 17 and a half. Right. Um, I had a couple of jobs before that. And Doing what? Uh, I worked as a trainee chef, and I worked as a, an apprentice panel beater. And, no, uh, none of that appealed, or no, not in the slightest. No, I was always into my, always into my writing and my, uh, and I started drinking as well, and started sort of getting involved in drugs. Was, it, was that when you started on alcohol and drugs, or yeah. had you been, you yeah. know, even in school? Yeah, at an early age, yeah, 15, 14, 15. I mean, I know there's, there's some sort of controversy as to whether this exists. Being an addictive personality or a bit of yeah. an addictive nature, it just escalated out of control for me. And, um, you know, I, had end up, I ended up going into, in, into a psychiatric hospital in, just outside of Newport for drug dependence when I was... I had my 17th birthday out there. I came out of there and I just wanted to get away from... Mm. from the so, sort of surroundings and the group of people I was associating with, because I sort of just drifted into... It's the same problem that people got today. We just drift into the same crowd of the groups that they know, what's familiar, what they, you know, what their mates are doing, and... Um, and I didn't have the sort of gumption to chuck a haversack on my back and go travelling across Europe, so I joined, yeah. the, so I joined the Army. And done my, done my basic training and got posted to... Colchester of all places. I had I wanted to go to Germany, I yeah, wanted to go to yeah. Cyprus and Hong Join Kong. the army and see Colchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under Colchester. Not quite, which, is it? Which is where which is where the whole thing ended up was I was I was court martialed in the end and uh, done nine what months. For? Oh, I refused to soldier. I refused to, they sent me to Northern Ireland, which is where I was born and uh, you know, yeah. I thought it was a bit unfair and uh, uh, you know, being a Catholic as well, it was sort of uh, yeah. uh, it, it didn't it didn't sort of sit well with me and uh, I just went in the one day and said, uh, with my civvies on, and said, I'm, ref I'm refusing to soldier. They locked me up in the guard room, stayed there for six weeks. I used to come in every morning, the officer, and say, stand up. And I wouldn't. Uh, and um, they called Marshal me and gave me nine months in, in the military corrective training centre. So how old were you then? 21. 20. I had my 21st birthday in there. You'd done a lot in your first 20 years, and you've been was, through a lot. It was crazy. Crazy. I mean, that's that's only the half of it. But um, so that was a hot summer of '76. That was uh, remember that. I really? do, and I hot do summer, indeed. So yeah, yeah. I was running around with a log on my shoulder, and that's when punk and all started. And uh, I was in the nick. Um, come out of there in, on November the fifth, on fire night, '76. <laughs> <laughs> and my son, well, I had a son. I was married and everything by then. I got married when I was uh, skipped that bit out, didn't I? I was married at uh, married at 18. And my son was born when I was 19, uh, Damien. And um, so my, my wife was to, sort of trying to find somewhere for us to live in Newport, and we ended up getting a place up on the Old Barn Estate, which was a brand new estate that had just been built. And I came out of the army then. And um, It must have been quite a, a strain on her. Terrible, yeah. 